can't see a thing. All right, welcome to the second Final Fantasy VI stream. Um, really briefly, did I save last time I played Bioshock? Did I? April 8th at 11.24? Yeah, I did. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. For some reason, it generated an autosave right when I booted it, but you know what? Better to do that than to not, to not, to not do it. Ugh, I couldn't even speak. Okay, just making sure. Oh god, this fucking disk drive is insane, bro. Holy shit, it is pretty bad. I won't even lie. Okay, put the disk in. That's exactly what I'm gonna try to do. I, I, I gotta, I gotta Frankenstein together a fucking PlayStation, man. That's gonna be so stupid. That's gonna be the worst decision I'm ever gonna make in my life. But I'm gonna do it because a, I think it'll be funny, and b, I'm, I'm insane. I'm absolutely cracked. Yep, King of Limbo. It's my favorite, dude. I'm telling you, I gotta make new thumbnails, by the way, for Bioshock Infinite Vif. Um, since I guess we're gonna play it. Or maybe, do I need to make custom thumbnails for Minerva's Den? You think that's overkill? I, it might be overkill. I don't know. Nope. Okay. Probably overkill. All right. Let's begin. Let's cycle this. Very nice. Let's cycle studio mode. Very nice. Okay. Dude, can you believe it? We're at the end. This is the finale of the Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster, which is like this epic project that I've been working on for the last several months, almost half a year, and we're finally at the end. Six Final Fantasy games, all classics in their own right, and we're at the end. All right, we can skip this. All right, uh, since last time we played, um, which was about two weeks ago, I think, we just completed the Phantom Train, so all that's left is to actually just go over here. 
There's actually nothing else for Sabin to do at this point. The cave to Baron Falls. Nothing on the light? Okay. There we go. This must be Baron Falls. To the south of here lies the Veld. Tis a wild and dangerous land, inhabited by all manner of ferocious beasts. But if we turn around and go back, the Empire will be waiting for us. Hmm, the village of Moblids lies on the eastern coast. If we can make it through the Veld, we could head there. I have served my purpose. Shadow! Thanks for your help. Let's team up again sometime. <laughs> How would I rank them all? Uh, okay. I think that, honestly, there's been a little bit of an upset. Because before, I didn't really like Final Fantasy V. I would say that it's probably, for me... Hmm. Text not on screen? Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. Let me get it. Hold on. You, you want, you, y'all in the YouTube chat, you deserve it, right? Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me. Uh, let me change the parameters. It should appear as soon as I do so. There you go. Yeah. Uh, how would I, how would I rank it? I think that, honestly, I think six and five take the cake. I think that these two are, like, peak performance of Final Fantasy, 100%. Um, so I think six, in my opinion, is better because it's less linear. It's got better characters, I would feel. But like, I don't know, because five is really good now that I play it fully. I still think six is better, though. I think that six is more iconic fights, whereas five is like a, like, I just think five is a little bit behind. And I think there's a lot of missables in five. Not that there aren't missables in all these games. Um, what else? I think it's got to go 6, 5, 4, 1, 3, 2. I feel like 2 is the weakest because 2 is, mm, two is like basic. I don't know. I think it would go 6, 5, 4, 1, 3, 2. Now, maybe if this was the 3D version of, of 3, I would care a little more. I would maybe put it ahead. But yeah, as, as this, it's, it's not so much. All right. So when you jump down here, what ends up happening is you get into a, a thing. Actually, wait, did I have anything on Shadow? Well, it's too late now. I doubt it, though. I don't think I really did, which is totally fine. Now, obviously, in the greater span of the series, you know, there's another, what, like 18 Final Fantasies you could rank? I think that, like, 7, 8, and 9 are a little bit lower. I like 7. I'm not a big fan of 8 and 9, though, personally. All right, anyway. That's why I'm going to play 7, 8, and 9 after this, if anyone's curious. I, I am going to play those. I'm not going to play 7 until I'm done with Rebirth, though. Bang. Can you do that? Yes. Wow. I forgot. You could just press left, down, 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 right. You don't have to do diagonal inputs in this at all. For me, 9 is my favorite non-tactics. See, that that's interesting because I didn't hate 9. I just didn't really like it that much. But maybe replaying it, I'll like it more. So that's, <laughs> that's exactly why I'm replaying all the major Final Fantasy games besides 11. Including, perhaps, 10. So I don't know if I've told Ash that. Mm. Ooh. Water is delicious, man. <laughs> yeah, this is a boss somehow, by the way. I'm going to hate 8, because I've never finished 8. 8 is not going to be fun for me, personally. And then someday I'll circle back to 12, which I started like two years ago. We'll, we'll finish it. To, to give an idea of how long ago I played Final Fantasy 12, I played it back right around the slapping. When Will Smith shot, slapped the shit out of Chris Rock. That was like stream two or something. There we go. Oh, oh! A youth draped in monster hides, his eyes shining with a warm, gentle light. Gow. Who is potentially the most broken character in the game? Who are you? Oh! 
All right. I don't even think Riverside can you even go back to Riverside. No. So what's nice about the Velt is it has its own fight theme. It's actually really cool. Now, later on in the game, you will use the Velt exclusively. So right now, it's cool. I'm just going to walk to the other side. There you go, Moblitz. We came down Baron Falls. Unbelievable. It's flowing even stronger than usual. No one's been able to get here lately. Is it true that war's broken out? I got a letter saying it had. Do you see the house in the far northern plains? That old man has lost his marbles. They say he threw out his own kid, thinking he was some kind of monster. This region is known as the Veld. Monsters migrate here from all over the world, so it can be quite dangerous outside of town. You never know who you might run into. Yeah, it's the most interesting thing in Final Fantasy history. Alright, so as you can see, we only have certain characters here. Player Kotetsu. There you go. Buckler. We don't want a buckler for him. We want a heavy shield. We want iron helm and iron armor. There you go. It would be cool if I could play Tactics. I think I'd have to play it on the PS3. I gotta fix my PS3. When I was out hunting yesterday, I could have sworn I saw a kid running along with a pack of monsters. I wonder if it was just my overactive imagination. Am I going crazy finally? Oh, thank God. So what you need to do is you need to buy some dried meat. You actually have to do this to progress the game. Okay. Uh, some Phoenix Downs. I don't really care about money. I threw some dried meat to a herd of hungry animals last time I was out in the veld. Would you believe it? A kid scrambled out of the herd and ran off with it. Yeah, they're, they're kind of cluing you in. As to what you need to do. Alright. I can send letters and packages to any corner of the world. Let me know if you need my services. I think this is a subplot that you have to do at this point in the game. Entrance to the Serpent Trench lies within Crescent Mountain near the southern tip of the continent. Okay. There you go. Clock. Oh, fuck. I forgot to look at the things over here. Huh. Dwayne! Katarin! Dwayne! Katarin! White cape. Prevents imp in silence. Okay, well, that's not worth getting. Not at the moment. It's fine. A grievously injured soldier wandered into the village not too long ago. I dressed his wounds, but his condition doesn't seem to be improving. Those letters coming from the town of Miranda are the only things keeping him going. I'm, an, I'm a soldier from Miranda. When our town fell to the Empire, I was forced to join the Imperial Army. I tried to flee rather than help them attack Doma, but they came after me. I barely escaped alive. Now I can't even move. I'll never see Lola again. There's a letter on the desk. Would you be kind enough to bring it to me? There are even more Imperial soldiers walking the streets of Miranda in these days, but things are peaceful otherwise. The flowers in the garden will soon bloom and announce the arrival of spring. How are you holding up? Your condition worries me to no end. I wish, I so wish I could fly to your side and be with you. Please think only about getting better and try not to push yourself too hard. Rest knowing that I spend every day thinking only of you and wishing I could see you. I'd love to write her back, but I don't even have strength to pick up a pen. I think later on we have to send uh, letters, right, for him. Uh, will I be getting all the characters? Yes. Terror pigeons are only linked to the outside world. You have to be quiet. Why? Soldiers said this house is hurt real bad, so Mom says we have to keep our voices down. Powerful ocean currents run through the Serpent Trench. Here we go. There you go. Look, it could take you back there. <laughs> Hop in the current, you'll be swept straight to Nikia. Too bad our only diving helmet was stolen. Yeah, we have a whole town. There's only one diving helmet in the whole town, if you can believe it. You want to send a letter to Lola for the injured soldier? Yes. I think you keep doing it right now, right? 
it better so I can return to Miranda. I forget how this quest works. Do you have to, like, wait a set amount of time? I, I forget how this works. No, it's fine. But yeah, I will be getting all the characters. Uh, the reason why Alex is saying that is because, because this is the first Final Fantasy where you could swap people out of your party, which will become a staple of Final Fantasy for years afterwards. Um, you definitely want to make sure that you get most of the party members. There's actually one party member that's famously very missable. It's one of those like really weird, unique situations um, in a Final Fantasy game where a character itself is actually missable. Like, not even just, like, you could recruit them at the end of the game and miss all the scenes they would be in. Like, you literally lose access to them, potentially. All right, here we go. Ah! Here we go. You have to do that to get them to join your party. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> I love Galvin. Uh, 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 What the? What a peculiar child. I'm Cyan, and this is Sir Sabin. You Sabin, you Cyan. You want more food? Sorry, all gone. You go. Get more for me. You're a regular little munchkin, huh? And you, afraid of me. You want some of this? Me not want hurt you. Stop looking at me like that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Man, that's a beautiful clip. Gas wheeze, you're pretty tough for a little guy. Hi, <laughs> that's fun. You're strong. You fall for it. Fall for trick. Shut up. Oh dear, do simmer down, sirs. And thou, oh wild one, who might thou be? Thou? Thou, thou. Thou, thou. Thou, thou. Thou, thou, you angry? Cyan, you angry? Me? Cyan, you angry? Me? Cyan, you angry? Me? Listen, his family was just whisper, whisper, okay? He moonwalks. Goddamn. Me understand. Me sorry. Gao, not mean person. Water under the bridge. Let us not dwell on such things. Sir Gao, I have a feeling we will get along quite well. Wilt thou join us? Oh, Gao give you present. Gao gives Cyan and Sabin nice present. Thanks for food. Right. What manner of rubbish do you suppose he's going to give us? Gao's treasure. Shiny, shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny. How shiny can this junk be? Mr. Thou likes shiny thing? Mr. Thou is that one. Over there. A shiny thing, eh? Locke's going to be jealous when he hears about this. Who Locke? He bad man? Maybe he tried to steal Gao's treasure. Locke? Well, he's... Listen when someone's talking to you. I believe he's trying to tell us something. So, uh, well, what is it? Here, here, shiny thing here. Where Sabin is, that Moblitz. Cyan stand place river bring you. Gao stand crescent mountain. Moon shaped mountain, shiny thing there. Well then, shall we be off? We might as well see what this cr was at this crescent mountain of his. Uh, why do we have to invite someone like him along? <laughs> He's moonwalking. What the hell? Mr. Thou, hurry up. We leave you behind. I told you before, my name is not Mr. Thou. So actually, before we leave, there's important stuff to do. Oh, they're going to tell you right now, actually. Here we go. It's the imp. The imp with, like, the water plate on his head. Here's how to build up Gao's, spill, uh, Gao's skills. During battle, choose leap, a command that appears only when you're on the veld. Keep fighting on the Velt, and eventually Gal will reappear. When he reappears, you'll learn the attacks of the monsters you were fighting when he left, as well as those you were fighting when he returned. Ooh-ah! Woo! -ah! Choose Rage to have Gal use any of the attacks he has learned. And now, please continue your quest, and he trips. <laughs> God damn it. <gasps> I'm gonna get them jumping around. I have so many things to clip, and I'm never going to remember to clip them, damn it. Alright, so as they say, whenever you're on the Veld, what you do is you get into 
you get into a fight, basically. Do I have encounters on? There we go. I'm just really unlucky. There we go. So what will happen is you could switch to Gao, and you could just have him leap. Gao does not have attack like normal characters. So what, like, what Gao has is he just has to use a rage. You could think The thing I don't like about rages is you can't tell him when to stop using one. If you could, rages would be a lot better. Basically, when you activate a rage, Gao will automatically... Did I fuck up? No. Gao will automatically um, start attacking on his own. So Gao can be stupidly broken. There's one rage in particular that is missable. It quite literally breaks the game. Hmm. So when he shows up, you don't do anything. He talks to you. Oh, shit. Oh, wow! I'm Gao! Your friend! Friend! I join you again! And there you go. And that's how you get rages for Gao, basically. Uh, abilities. Rage. So as you can see, now he has a couple different ones. He has Magitek armor. The problem is that, like... It's not like Summoner where, like, you change what aspect you have and then you deal damage based on that. You quite literally cannot control Gao. So it makes him unreliable at the best of times and just not very optimal at the worst. But you want to build him up a little bit. And yes, it does remove him from the party. I think that you have to have one slot in your party open in order for Gao to rejoin you as well. So that's why there's probably some missable enemies to this point that I think I've done a reasonable job of finding. That if you don't find them, um, you can't get them to show up on the veld. So if there's any missable enemies, you cannot get a... God damn, this theme is insane. If there's any missable enemies and you miss them, you cannot get the rage anymore. Unless you're on the GBA version because that has the soul shrine. I believe that will count as well. Why am I doing this every time? I'm just going to auto battle. Go. Ah! I'm Gao. Your friend, friend, I join you again. So let's see if we could get like a couple of rages for Gao before we take off. You could teach Gao magic. See, that's the thing I don't like. Is like you could teach him magic, but the second you select a rage, he has to die for you to um be able to give him any extra commands. So that, that would be one thing I don't like about Final Fantasy VI is, like, certain characters are, like, really good, but in niche situations or if you have, like, really good setups for them. And it's not until the end of the game that they really... See, we would have missed these enemies if I didn't kill them earlier. Ow. Can I move? Nice. <laughs> Mr. Thou! Uh, Cyan, you're not gonna attack him, right? No, it cancels him. Okay. That's actually really nice. They cancel your attack, even though he's still in the ready animation. Or the, the ready pose. Beautiful. I heard of it. Not the dumbest thing ever in the top 20. Add from... A 1960s buy a TV set and get a free monkey. Yeah, I'm sure that definitely that that was totally legit. That wasn't them like playing up their bullshit. No. <laughs> yeah, dude, ads used to be so fire, man. I don't know about ads now, but like ads back in the day were fire, man. Okay. Why am I doing this every time? I forget that you don't have to. But yeah, like they say, any rages that you don't learn... Like, there's a chance for Gao to reappear after every fight. It's pretty high. Any rages that he would have learned from battles in between, he won't. So, it is a little bit luck-based. And you could potentially spend hours here looking for the last rages in the game, assuming you miss none. But yeah, so, it, it's one of those things. There's actually a really good rage I would like him to learn now. Um, it's called Stray Cat. It's famously, like, very good. So, I would like him to, I would like to try to find it. But... 
the odds of it. I wish the Veld was, like, sectioned off into different areas, so that way it would be easier to find certain rages. I don't know if it is sectioned off like that or not. I forget if it's just all random, or if there's, like, certain areas where it's more likely to find certain monsters. I kind of wish that would be, like, one change, right? Like, there could be, like, a Narsh area. You know, it, again, it, it, it could be implemented in a very weird way. But, like, it is unfortunate that you may or may not even find some of these. And I actually like the idea of having a party member where you have to, like, teach them different things. It's kind of like Blue Mage a bit, but we... It's more like Morpher, I guess. If, you know, my me and my tactics brain. As, as Alex would say, since he... He's also kind of tactics as a fan, a, a, a tactics fan, right? Like, my tactics brain is making me look at Morpher. Hmm. Maybe monkeys were cheap back then? Uh, I don't know what to tell you, man. <clears throat> is it legal to sell someone a monkey? You know, monkeys rip people's faces off, right? People have gotten deformed from monkeys, like, losing their shit and attacking them. Like, it's actually pretty depressing. It's sufficiently depressing. They're wild animals for a reason. Imperial Soldier and Templar. Ooh! Ah! That's what I mean. I would like another Final Fantasy like this, where you have different classes of people, basically. I think that would be kind of cool. Honestly, at this point, using Rising Phoenix is probably all we need to do to kill most enemies in one hit. What a nice backdrop this is, by the way. Look at this. This is beautiful. I, I just thought about that. That is a really nice backdrop portrait. Huh. Alright, let's use a tent. Yeah, there's no overworld tent animation. It's the same in this game, wherever you are. You kneel down, and you stand up. <laughs> uh, let's make a new save. What? Oh, I tried to load. Thank God I didn't do that. That would have been bad. It's been a while since I played this. But yeah, we're not going to start Final Fantasy VII until I beat Rebirth. So I'm thinking that I might play something else in the meantime. Uh, I was thinking of maybe playing Tales of Symphonia in the meanwhile. Uh, maybe that'll be something I do, because I did buy the remaster, and it's been like a decade since I played it. So I, I would like to play Tales of Symphonia, which would be nice. Oh, also, one last thing about the Veld is that you don't uh, gain experience for any fight here. Oh, shit, I didn't want him to leap. No, cancel it. Stop, stop, stop. Don't do it. Okay, never mind. Do it. Thank you. <laughs> Very nice. And you also gain money. We, we actually don't have AP yet, so we can't gain AP. Dude, I want Stray Cat. Did we fight Stray Cat? He already has Magitek armor. We could just leave. Oh, no, wait. We all have to leave at once? Yeah, never mind. Can't run away? What the fuck? Really? Huh. I didn't know that. You can't run away from Magitek armor. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, this game, I don't really run from anyone in. You just have to kill. You just have to win. Fight. Die. Win. Do we have Stray Cat... Seriously, before I do all this. Do you see it? Uh, here, no, these are just bosses. Ymir and Ymir rank... Oh, the shell. Okay, so each portion is treated differently. Yeah, see, there's there's basically no way to kill Emir, kill the shell. You have to kill his uh, his head. There's there's no way to do it. Look at that HP, fifty thousand HP, dude. Bosses won't even begin to have fifty thousand. Like even Vargas, same thing. There's no way to kill Vargas before he doom expires, unless you hack the game, probably. 
Ultros is 3,000. The Tunnel Armor is at 1,300. The Phantom Train, right? Like, most of these enemies, you're not killing them beforehand. Like, later on in the game, 50,000 is nothing, right? But, like, for right now, you can't do that. So, have we even found Stray Cat? Did I miss it? I'm gonna be so salty because it's actually a really good rage. Like, if you've never really played this game, it's actually a really good rage for you to get early. But I might have missed it. Yeah, I think I did. Ah, oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. Okay, whatever. Let's see if we could send a letter to this dude, because we won't be back here for a while. Mooblitz. I want to send a letter to Lola. No, okay. I guess you have to come back later and do it. I, I don't know. I don't know how that side quest works. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff in this game, and a lot of it is missable or timed. So if you don't do it, you're, you're pretty much shit out of luck. Okay. Yeah, this also counts as the belt. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Cyan, that shiny, shiny thing of Gao's is in here. And where exactly might it be found, Sir Gao? Gao, forget! Oh! Shall we look around? It seems we have no choice. There's nothing really in here. This is just an empty cave. Is this it? The shiny treasure? Treasure, treasure. Tis aught but a dirty glass bowl. Kind of looks like it would fit over your head. Hmm, I wonder if we could use this. It might let us breathe underwater. All right, let's go. And what we're going to come up on is some of the best music in this game, which is absolutely insane. I love it. These rapids look quite rapid. No kidding. But it's the only way to make it in time to meet up with the others. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah, he's afraid of water. Oh, well. <laughs> I love this music, man. This is one of the best portions in the game. Random battles. Let's do Magitek armor for the memes. Let's go right. Not really sure what the paths give you. What is it with Final Fantasy and really good underwater music? Oh shit. Most games have really good... I don't know, something about underwater just, like, really sets sets the composer, like... It makes him transcend to another reality of good music. It's so crazy. It's like every game from this era. I don't know what it is, man. Like, did they... Did all the video game composers have, like, a symposium or something? There you go. Surfer's Trench. X Potion. Alright, this is actually not missable. You could actually empty this out later if you really want to. There's some stuff on Mount Colts. Narsh Mines. We'll be able to get that later. Yeah, see, there's not a lot of things to get. All the stuff in Doma Castle you get later. Returner's Hideout? Oh shit, I missed everything. Hilarious. Hmm. 
Whoa. <laughs> this isn't my friend favorite rendition of the song. I think it was better before. Let's go right again. I guess. I don't know why it's three arrows. I guess it's faster. End with form. Yeah, I wish there was an option to stop raging, basically. I don't know. That's that's probably the number one thing I'll say about Gao, is that he's kind of not great if you... Because basically, whatever rage you equip, you, your plan can never change unless you plan to kill him yourself and then revive him. And by the way, I don't think it tells you what the rages will do. You just have to experiment and figure it out. Like, there's nothing telling you what it will or won't do. Oh, shit. Oh. oh. Second floor? There you go. Oh, that's how you get this. Yeah, there's a free green beret. I think it's actually really good, right? Oh, I didn't give him anything. Oops. I don't even think he... he, he yeah, give him all the shield. Whatever. Sure, whatever. Alright, back at it. It's like the river from Narsh, or, or the river that leads to Narsh. You can't fail this, really. Also, how three people all used one diving helmet is beyond me, but whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> Alright, Nakia. Fairy's bound for South Figaro. Still need to shop. I don't think there's really much else. We're actually at the end of Sabin's scenario. Um, as you can see, it's way longer than Locke's and way longer than Terra and Bannon's um, combined, which is actually nuts when you think about it. But that's my favorite part of it, is like... Out of nowhere, this dude has the longest, randomest, like, side series of things. Here we go. Hey, you handsome young thing. Why don't you come have a drink with me? <laughs> How dare thee! The census howler! Off with thee! Don't be a stick in the mud. Let's just have some fun. Hey, do you like these? I call this one Humpty and this one Dumpty. He's like, ah! Ah! Humpty? Dumpty? Slayan, you're being too thin-skinned. Art thou unaffected by these charms? One of the benefits of all my years of ascetic training. <laughs> Don't leave me standing here all alone. Enough of that. A woman should have modesty and, and decency. And rant, rant, rant. Oh, Cyan. <laughs> Ships used to sail the towns of the southern continent. Zen, Albrook, and Miranda. But all of them have been lost to the Empire. Know that strange old man that lives in a cabin near the Lith? I helped his, I helped deliver his son 13 years ago. It was a problem birth. The mother didn't survive and the man couldn't handle the loss. Went loony, he did. Thought his baby was some kind of monster and threw it out. Poor little thing never had a chance. They keep mentioning that. I wonder if it's important. Pretty impressive a kid like me can run a business. You should buy something to encourage me. To the fairy ring? The white cape. Sure, there you go. Thank you. This town's isolated from the rest of the world, so you can't get anywhere without a ship. By the way, what does isolated mean? Welcome. The heavy shield. The, maybe we buy some Magus hats for these two. Silk robe for Terra. And what, maybe some iron armor? Thank you! <laughs> Stranger. Mithril Spear, he already has it. That's what I mean. So you could buy it here, but the spear would have been better before if you got it for Mog. Which I forgot to unequip Shadow, so I wonder what I left on Shadow, if it's anything memorable or that I'll miss. Are there clocks in your town? Oh. Speak of the devil, dude. <laughs> Love it. Alright. What the hell, Chocobo? 
Where even where can you even go? What the fuck? You can't go anywhere. What the hell? Why would they have a chocobo stable here? I'm so confused. Like that's the I, I don't why would you have a chocobo stable here? There's literally nowhere to go. It's so interesting. A rock slide has brought the route that leads north along the coast. Alright. I think that's pretty much it. There's not really much you can do, so. We already looked at the weapon shop. We looked at the armor shop. Get out the way, kid. Oh my god. <laughs> Went inside the bar. So Eastern Kingdom of Doma has fallen to the Empire as well? Yes. Alright. So there's not really much to do. Let's just... That's why they spawn you down here. All you have to do is just talk to this guy. Just be like, yeah, it's time to go. Very nice. Narsh is just a stone's throw away. Wonder if the others arrived safely. I am sure they did. Ooh. Ooh. The three groups have arrived in Narsh, and now a, de a decisive battle is about to unfold. I understand what you're saying, but you're asking us to spill our blood for you. That's not what we asked, but it will be the result. Ha! You're absolutely right. Bannon, we're asking you to spill your blood. Emperor Gestal is racing to acquire ever greater Magitech power. That's the reason he wants the Esper that was discovered here. If we allow the Empire to continue expanding its Magitech arsenal, history's greatest mistake will be repeated. The War of the Magi. The legendary conflict that laid waste to the world. You're saying it could happen again? I had thought humans to be wiser creatures. Edgar! Sabin, you're all right. Who have you brought along? I am Cyan, a warrior of the Kingdom of Doma. Woo, gow! The Empire killed everyone in Doma down to the last child. Kefka poisoned them. Barbaric! Elder. But that was because Doma was co collaborating with the Returners. So long as Narsh remains neutral, we have nothing to fear from the Empire. Think again! Yeah, somehow Sabin beats him here. Locke! The Empire is poised to attack Narsh as we speak. What? Locke, where'd you manage to get your hands on information like that? Celis here was one of the Empire's gener- So it is her! I thought she looked familiar! Sir Gao, step aside! The infamous General Celes, the woman single-handedly responsible for the sack of Miranda. Stand to meet thy judgment, Imperial wretch! Wait! Sells his promise to return, join the Returner. She's fighting on our side now. Be that as it may, I promise I'd protect her and I won't give up a woman I've sworn to protect. Locke, you still haven't gotten over that, have you? I was also an Imperial soldier. What? The Empire is evil, but that doesn't mean all of its citizens are. I'm going to have to defer to my brother on this one. The Empire is marching on, or marching on Narsh. We don't have long. Alright. I don't care what you have to do. Just get me that Espa. <laughs> Kefka, sir. What about the civilians? What about them? Kill them all. But, sir, Narsh is a neutral city. Idiot. Read my lips. Mercy is for wimps. There's a reason oppose rhymes with dispose. If they get in your way, kill them. <laughs> March! <laughs> I love Kafka so fucking much, dude. <laughs> it seems the choice has been made for us. Let's make ready for war. They're here for the Esper. We moved it up into the cliffs above the valley. And that's where we'll make our stand. Locke has a complicated past. 
Don't go falling for him now, thinking he was protecting you out of love back there. Thanks for your concern, but I'm a soldier, not some love-starved twit. So much for my next suggestion. <laughs> Terra, who'd have thought we'd meet again like this? You can use magic too, can't you? But it's different from mine. I was raised to be an Imperial Magitech Knight. When I was still very young, I was artificially infused with magic. Is it possible for you to love other people? Are you mocking me? <laughs> Do not think even for a moment I trust thee. Fine, use your own eyes and see for yourself which side I'm on. All right, so basically right now we have an opportunity to heal. We have an opportunity to save the game, right? So we're going to have another one of our standoff sequences, basically, for anyone keeping track. There you go. So at this point, what you can do is you can equip all the different characters that you have, besides Shadow, obviously. You could swap them out like this. Basically, you swap them as you would see fit. It's actually a very interesting idea to have standoff segments like this, but I think everyone is pretty much equipped with the best items I can give them. Yeah, I think I, I wasn't slacking, right? There we go. We got some iron armor we could put on. Uh, Terra, I guess. I guess I bought that silk robe for nothing, huh? Oop. There you go. Optimize. Very nice. Okay. Alright. Uh, so that should be it. There's a reason I pose. Actually, can I get that? I'm going to snatch that. I'm going to snatch that later. There's a reason I pose rhymes with dispose. If they get in your way, kill them. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Protect the Esper from Kefka. Would you like an explanation? Sure. You'll fight using three different parties. Use the L2 button to switch between them. Defeat Kefka before his men reach Bannon or the battle is lost. After you've made three parties on the uh, party formation screen, select Done to start the battle. Alright, so this is something you'll frequently see this game will do. It will give you the list of all the characters in the game. Uh, at least the ones that you have access to, and it will allow you to form parties. Now, I think you have to have minimum one party or one person in every party. So we could put Gao in one party. And honestly, for this portion of the game, what you could do is you could just have Edgar, Sabin, Celez, and Terra all in one party. Because these are basically our, our best party members. Right? We have the two magic users, and then basically Locke and other guy doesn't really matter that much. And the reason why I say this is because you basically only need one party to solo pretty much every fight. Oh, hi, Mark. Welcome. Hey, Ash. Welcome. Welcome as well, everyone. Um, you basically only need one party member or one party to solo everything. None of these enemies move fast enough that you'll be unable to, you know, clear the fight. And you might as well pour all your healing onto one party anyway. So that's why. Here they come! Oh, if this isn't General Celeste, the traitor! Excellent. Now I won't have to hunt you down later. That's a lot of dudes. Go! Get those vile insects! Alright, let's position them so that way nothing gets past them. Oh, apparently including myself. Jesus. <laughs> He's guarding it too well. I can't even get to Celeste. Or I can't even get to Kafka. <laughs> Alright. Get attack. Get attack. Auto crossbow. I'm telling you, Saban is fucking broken, dude. He's literally the best party member, dead. Smart saber, very nice. Preemptive strike. Yeah, so this is Saban can pretty much carry almost the entire game, if you can believe it. He's actually one of the best party members because he has access to magic and 
He has access to magic through his blitzes, basically. That's pretty much how it works. Ow. Ow. It's actually to the point that he has some of the best, like, physical attacks in the game. But, especially now that you could just auto-battle, and you don't actually have to worry about hitting the wrong input. Like, it's to the point that you actually don't even really need to use his autos. That's why Cyan and Locke are also good competition for using the Genji Glove. Because using the Genji Glove is more helpful for Locke, because you're not always going to mug. Actually, does it work on mug? It might. I don't know. This is also a backdrop we don't get to see very often. Terra Learn Rays, naturally, by the way. I think I might have said it earlier, Terra and Celez are the only characters in this game that learn magic by default. Everyone else has to learn it in a unique way later on, they'll explain it. It's kind of like Materia, but better. And this is, this is what I mean. Like, I didn't like the Materia system because I played this game first. So because I played this game first, like, the Materia system just felt like a gimped version of what this game does. But granted, we're not there yet, so, like, you could argue that Materia is a little better because you get it earlier. I don't know, I was just never really a big fan of it. Alright, we're just gonna wipe out their entire... How did we get back attacked? We're looking at it. Oh my god, I know it's RNG, but still, it's so weird. Very nice. It's also kind of unfortunate, I kind of wish Kingdom Hearts drew more from some of these earlier Final Fantasy games. I genuinely thought Kingdom Hearts would have actually, like, more Final Fantasy stuff in it than what it ended up having. It very much only pretty much has, like, 7, 8, and 9, and, like, a few glimpses earlier than that, which is really unfortunate. That, that's a huge L to me in Kingdom Hearts. It's like, there there's, like, 6 games they just don't drop. What a bunch of bullshit, by the way. Oh, she's in the back row. I need to move it forward. You don't really need to worry about Rose that much in this game. It's not as important. This is the only pre-2000 FF I haven't played. You are absolutely missing out. This is 100% worth playing. I highly recommend that you play this game at your earliest convenience. What? There you go. He hasn't even started walking. Do they even walk? I have no idea. So many good memes come from this game. It's not even funny. Most of it is just Kefka, honestly. Oh, I think it's better than 7. I actually, I like, I don't hate 7. I just think 7's overhyped, and I do not like how Materia works. And I also don't like that you only have three party members. 7 really started that whole, we only have three party members shit. And I absolutely hate that. Oh shit, Hell's Rider. Crossbow. Reverse polarity. Oh, it moves someone and it moves someone's rose. Who cares? <laughs> like, actually, who gives a shit? <laughs> Very nice. All right, now we can quick save. Here we go. Kafka. Can you suplex Kafka? I'm actually curious. Probably not. I think it'll miss. What? Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, it missed. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so funny. <laughs> you know what game has four party members? Yeah, nine does. That is, a good, that is a good point. Nine does have four party members. That is true. I forget you don't have to do that. Oh, wait, that's it. I can just auto-battle. We win. God damn, he's beating the shit out of this clown. Oh, my God. It's also funny because Edgar kind of started the whole, like, Dragoon Machinist mix that we see in Sid in Final Fantasy VII as well. Because Sid also is kind of similar to that. Grr! Don't think you've won! Flee. Very nice. <laughs> I won't forget this. Where's the Esper? Is it all right? 
I love the this in the background. That's so cool. Very nice. Whew. The Esper's safe. It also appears to be alive. Is that even possible? Terra, what is it? Oh, shit. No! No! <laughs> Terra and the Esper, they're reacting to each other. What, what is this I'm feeling? Hmm, did you say something? Please tell me, who am I? Who? Tara! The Esper, it's responding to her. Tara, get away from that thing. Oh my god, the DBZ aura is so insane. <laughs> That's de They changed that graphic for sure. Yeah, only years later did I realize that's her screaming in agony. I thought it was like the sound of her like flying away. By the way, I love how Gao is hanging on like reverse, reverse grip on the wall. Yeah, that's her screaming, by the way. That that's not like a sound effect, like her whooshing around or something. That that had me fucked up when I realized that's actually her screaming in agony and confusion. Now we're playing some uh Legend of Goku. Yeah, both Oh Hi Mark and Alex are correct. Final Fantasy IX went back to four party members. That is true. Ugh. Are you awake? I love this version of this song, actually. Where's Tara? She turned into a something and flew off. She looked like... She looked like an Esper. Locke, are you okay? Oh, oh. Something happened to Terra. There must be some connection between her and that Esper. We need to find her. Witnesses say she went streaking westward across the sky beyond Figaro. We gotta hurry. I promise I protect her. Locke, let's not get ahead of ourselves. The Empire will be back again for that Esper, and someone needs to protect Bannon. She is a former Imperial soldier, but still, we must help her. I like how even Cyan, we didn't have a whole game arc about Cyan saying, I hate helping Imperials. He understands. He's in, he knows loyalty. I, I like that. Let's split up. Those who aren't searching for terror will stay here to guard against further attacks. Figaro Castle can shuttle the others to the Western Province. Shouldn't be hard to track down clues in Kolingen or Jador as to Terra's whereabouts. Alright, so now you get to pick your party of four. This is the first time in the game where you have to select four characters to be your main party. My recommendation is to take Edgar, Sabin, Celez, because she's the only person left with MP, and the fourth person is ultimately up to you. Normally I would just say, just take Locke, because you, you know, you get to steal. But Cyan is actually pretty good, because Cyan in this version, you just select what moves you want him to use. But I will still take Locke because I want to level him up a little bit. Go. I think you could... Here we go. Defend the Esper. Do thy best. Change party members? No. So we're actually going to do something pretty unique here. Um, I haven't really done this before in any playthrough of this game. We're going to see the Gao message. If for those of you who don't know, there's a part coming up in this game that's actually my favorite in the pretty much the whole game by the way this is the first time we could actually go back around narsh and do some more stuff um there's a part coming up and i've talked about it on other final fantasies or other final fantasy playthroughs where you can if you use gao exclusively 
someone has to talk in order to get Terra to work with them. Um, Gao has unique lines that most people have never seen before. And I actually want to show it on this playthrough. It's going to require me to do a little bit of back and forth. But I'm actually very interested in seeing it. Because I've never done it myself. And with this version, the ability to turn off and on encounters is going to make that very, very possible. Because otherwise, you have to have Gao single-handedly go basically across the entire world by himself. And needless to say, that's very annoying. This is a school for the beginning adventurer. Despite all of our recent advances in technology, the outside world remains full of monsters we know little about. It's the beginner school again. <laughs> did they always have this? I feel like they didn't. Is this new for, the, for this version? Oh, God. <laughs> Monster in a box. Be careful. Sometimes monsters lurk inside of treasure chests. Potions may taste fine, but they also heal injury. Sting and in heals you. Have you heard about relics? Relics grant you a variety of abilities. Knight's Code makes you shield others. Dragoon Boots allow you to perform jump attacks. Press go up two rags at the same time. Valuables are sometimes in a pot like that. Oh my god, I have none of the chests in Narsh. I only have stuff in, what, the Narsh Caves, I think it is? Yeah, what the hell? I remember the GBA version. Oh, okay, yeah, I don't know if it's in the original SNES or the PS1 version. I didn't really play those versions. Reflect spell remains active for a short time, will not reflect certain lore magic. Fire, ice, and lightning are the three principal elements. They are represented by the spells fire, blizzard, and thunder, respectively. Image status creates illusionary images. Status effects. Runic absorbs MP, remains active. Trance, dance, and rage. Actually, hold on, trance. We, we haven't seen trance yet. So Final Fantasy IX also has trance. That kind of stems from this game. I think it functions similarly in that game. The duration increases as more battles are fought. It's basically a buff to your stats. Re-raise automatically revives the character if they get KO'd. Regen gradually restores an HP. Undead monsters can be damaged by spells. Bushido can only be unleashed after required power for the skill in question is built up. Has it? I have no idea. I don't think it works like that. Here we go. Okay, this is, this is actually one of the coolest things in this game that you've never seen. You could make a YouTube video about this. So, desperate times can bring out the strength you never knew you had. Critically wounded characters may occasionally perform powerful hidden techniques when you select attack. So, this game has limit breaks, but the way that they function is that a character needs to be in critical HP and then perform the attack command. That's the only way that you're actually able to use limit breaks in this game. They're actually not even called limit breaks, they're called desperation attacks. So, like, that, it's a precursor to Seven's Limit Breaks, which obviously went on to become, you know, pretty famous within the realm of this game. Right, let's be fair. Uh, other than that... Actually, wait, hold on. Can we go back up to the mines? I think we could get in that other area now. It's actually one of the more unique things that this game added, that certain characters just have unique abilities that are completely their own, but only if they are low on HP. Starting with Final Fantasy VII... Uh, characters would gain limit breaks because, you know, they like reversal. Everyone likes a good reversal mechanic, you know? It's like, I'm, I've am i been pushed to the limit. It's everything or nothing, you know, that type of shit. Listen, I'm not gonna lie, it sounds cool. Who wouldn't want to have, like, a boss-type ultimate attack, you know what I mean? Actually, wait, are we about to do the, uh, the lone wolf thing by accident? Not yet, no. There you go, the Narsh Cliffs. Oh, please tell me we could get up here. Yo! Yeah, the Esper doesn't react to any of you. Dude, this is beautiful. I love this. Look at the look at the aesthetic, man. Honestly, if I could get the map to go away, which I Oh wait, you can! Dude, I'm bawling. Look how beautiful this is. This is like picture perfect i love it because i love edgar's design i think edgar is one of the cooler looking characters in this game for sure bro this is my new back this is my new background i'm definitely going to use this in something 100 <laughs> percent. i'm definitely going to use that on something i don't know what 
but I'm gonna put it on something. <laughs> that's so cool. I love that. Seeing Narsh in the background. That's so awesome, man. Oh, did you see that? There was something living inside the caves. Interesting. I wonder if it shows up again. Yep, right there. Hmm. Interesting. Now, where the hell are the chests? Honestly. What the fuck? Did I turn on encounters? Ow. Alright, let's stop digging around. Let's actually make some progression. Did I turn off? I guess I did. Okay. There's actually some dialogue and shit that you see if you bring Edgar and Sabin back to Figaro. Since this will be Sabin's first time coming back to Figaro. So I actually do recommend that you bring Edgar and Sabin. And Celeste is just a no-brainer because she's the only person who has cure at this point. So it kind of just makes perfect sense to bring her... Uh... Had one bandana for lock. What? No, nothing. Dude, what is with the jazz in this version? Oh my god. I'm going crazy, man. Oh, here we go. Earring, thief's knife. Chest in the back corner is the only one that's locked. Wonder if there's a way to open it. Thief's bracer, hyper wrist, 5,000 gil. All right, so this last chest, you actually will never get the item for it if you want to get 100%. And you'll see why later. There's actually a mini side quest that's missable. Um, the character from that quest is not missable, even if you choose the item. But one of his dances will become missable if you do not get him when you begin that. Okay, anyway, let's go. Where do you where do you even find Stray Cat? Seriously. I feel like I've screwed myself, because we actually need to get that rage for Gao. It's a very good early game rage. Yep, there you go. Ah, uh, this is just like old times. I'm going to wander around for a bit. King Edgar, welcome home. Well, you could have seen the look on Kefka's face as we sank into the sand. <laughs> Where do you go? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, actually, if you talk to some of these merchants as Edgar, there's unique dialogue. I can't take money from the king. You have a family, don't you? Just be quiet and take it. I love that, man. Here we go. Flash. Drill is literally one of his best attacks in the entire game. You actually want to buy the drill, 100%. It's one of his best weapons in the game. I can't take money from the king. Just be quiet and take it. Shut the fuck up. Some ethers. Oh, they're expensive. Let's get some holy waters. Right? Some antidotes. Some gold needles. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, I'm thinking I might play Tales of Symphonia. As much as I love that game, I don't really know all the intricacies of that, and I've forgotten almost everything about, um... Vesperia, since it's been so long. But I would actually really like to play Tales of Symphonia again, especially since I bought the remastered. I, I love that game, truly. There you go. Rest for a bit. Yeah, you have to rest to get the scene to play. Uh. Hmm. hmm, Castle hasn't changed much. And yet it's different. Mom and dad are gone. Nothing can ever really be the same. Not after what happened. Tonight, it's the worst he's ever been. So if he should...
No, you're wrong. It's not true. Priestess, the king, he's... Sabin. Sabin. Dad couldn't have... Edgar. So, Dad didn't make it. <clears throat> Edgar, there you are. Your father just said he wouldn't trust Figaro to the two of you. Those were his final words. You won't make me sick. Everyone's saying that the Empire had Dad poison, and the only thing any of you could think about is who will be the next king. No one's even sad. None of you probably care where Mom died after we were born, either. That's not... You're just as bad as the rest of them, Sabin. Empire of murderers, they won't get away with this. He's slapping around the high priestess. <laughs> priestess, leave us. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Let's leave this place. Let's forget this crazy kingdom and live our lives how we want to. You said you didn't want to be a king, right? A life of freedom, huh? What do you think would happen to Figaro if both of us left? There'd be no one to take the throne. Dad was counting on us to take care of the kingdom. Sabin, let's settle this with a toss of a coin. Dad gave me this one. If it's heads, you win. Tails, I win. The winner chooses whichever path he wants. No regrets, no hard feelings, okay? Here we go! That is beautiful. That is such a beautiful graphic, man. And you chose your freedom. It's already been ten years. That little shrimp has grown into a whopping lobster. And you're a king crab! Sabin, do you think Dad would be proud of me? Don't you ever doubt that. I'm sure he's beaming with pride wherever he is. Ten years. Where has the time gone? Here's to a couple of confused grown-ups. Drink! <laughs> Here's to Dad. To Mom and to Figaro. This is one of the most touching scenes in the entire game. And it's it really is so good. And it gets referenced later, which is the best part. Alright, that's that's the real reason you want to come bring Sabin and Edgar here. Even if for some reason you don't plan to use them, you definitely want to bring them here for at least that. Um, okay, so we actually need to go to the engine room. To a, a couple of confused grown-ups. Actually, can I... I'm gonna steal that other stuff, bro. I love this. See, there's so many good scenes in this game. I'm gonna turn them into webums for sure. I'm gonna put them on stuff. I'm gonna put them on stream. It's gonna be great. Can we go down there? No. It's too dangerous. Okay, here we go. Go to Colin again. Urgh! Uh, <laughs> yep. You can burrow. Can we burrow to the other side here. I still need to play Avatar? Yes, I do. When will I play it? I have no idea. In the same way that there's so many other games I need to play, I, what I what I honestly think I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade my PS5 first. I'm going to get an M2 and put the M2 inside my PS5 before I play it. That's going to take money, so I don't know when I'm going to be able to do it, but, you know, I'll figure it out. Oh, God. No, I have her stuck on Runic. Fuck. I gotta fix her commands. Okay. But as you can see, there's not really a ton of missables. There's a big point of no return where basically anything that we haven't gotten to this point will become missable. But for the most part, there's not really a lot of missables early on in this game. 
Salazar and Libra. Very nice. Let's fight some other ones. Do we have anything in the desert? Sand rays. Yeah, Rising Phoenix is just going to be enough at this point. Like I said, Saban has, like, really good magic damage. I, I don't know if it draws from his strength or if the multiplier is just really good. But Rising Phoenix is actually one of the best moves in the game. And like I said, ultimately it just comes down to your ability to perform it. Now, obviously, like I said before, there's no top menu blitz, right? Like, they don't show you your inputs as you complete them in the previous versions. So that was the difficulty of it, is you have to know when you're performing the blitz correctly. But outside of that, if you can perform it reliably, like, it's one of the best ones. Yo, Devin, no worries, man. You never have to apologize for working. I appreciate it. I knew you would enjoy it. I hope you're having a good week. You, no one ever has to apologize for missing a stream, bro. No one, don't worry about it. Oh, shit. Sandstorm. Uh, is this bad? Oh, this is bad. Uh, I might actually die here. Dude, you are not seriously going to spam this bullshit. You're kidding me. Oh my god. He countered? Oh, it's a count. I'm dead. Yeah, it's a counter move. We're done. Should have known better. I wonder if this guy dies if you throw a phoenix down on him. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh wow, we killed him. Holy shit. I didn't actually think we would do that. Wow. That's actually insane that we just pulled that off. Wow. <laughs> so I got through Dead Money DLC and Fallout New Vegas in hardcore. Got all the gold bars and all, uh, like, all loot possible. So basically, you went in with nothing. You probably shanked your way through the whole DLC. That's actually insane. I remember Vault Dweller did that ages ago, for what it's worth. But yeah, congrats. That's, that's actually pretty difficult. Respect. Alright. Let's see, there's, uh... Anything in the forest? Oh my god, she has 225 MP. Are you fucking kidding me? This game is cooked, man. Yeah, maybe we should gain a few levels first, just for a little bit. I'm not fighting the fossil dragon over and over, though. I bear trap fisted my way through. I fit. I fisted my way through my enemies is one hell of a fucking statement to make in any any context ever. The weapon's good. In the DLC but once you get out, it's next to useless. See, I don't know. I, I didn't like. I didn't like dead money. Maybe I'll turn the difficulty down when I get to it because we're gonna replay Fallout at some point. Um. So here's my my grandmaster plan. Okay. I'm, I'm going to be completely transparent so no one can say I'm trying to do this to bait views out of you guys for the next, like, several years. Um, Ash, if you're here, which she definitely is. She's probably in ASMR mode. In 2025, Ash, I will replay at least a portion of the Kingdom Hearts series, okay? That is, someone remind me, I don't, I'm not saying it's going to start in January 2025, but I will replay Kingdom Hearts 1, Chain of Memories 2, and maybe Birth by Sleep. Maybe. Not 3, though. I'm not replaying 3. But definitely 1 and Chain of Memories. Are def and, and I guess 2. I'll replay 2. That is 2025. That's going to happen. For Devin and Vif, you, you both already know what I said I was going to do. We're going to do more Bethesda games. So New Vegas is, on the, is, is coming up. Fallout 3... And then, for the first time, I'll play the Fallout 3 DLCs, which I never played. Besides, after, I never finished Broken Steel, and I never played the, the last two. So the both of you already know what's coming. I don't have to explain that to you. Y'all already know what's good. For the RPG fans, right, the classic RPG fans, um, there's stuff like Chrono Trigger, things like that. So these will all be continuing playthroughs. I just have to, cont I have to stream every day, all right? It's not even to grind to grow up the channel. Wow, she doesn't want Kingdom Hearts? All right, well, I'm playing Kingdom Hearts 1 and, and Chain of Memories for myself then. I'm just letting you know it's going to happen, okay? It's going to happen in 2025 for sure, if not sooner. But uh, anyway, yeah. 
even the one thing that is actually notable is the armor. It's outclassed by stuff you get in other deal other easier DLCs. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, Kingdom I think Kingdom Hearts would be really cool. I haven't played those games in a while since they were re-released, right? Um, let me spread OBS a little bit. Very nice. Maybe okay, maybe not that wide. We don't get to Avatar by 22. Alright, maybe Avatar should be that thing then. But I, I definitely want to play Chain of Memories. And to me, like, why am I going to play Chain of Memories and not play one? You know? And then at that point, we'll see what we do afterwards. I don't know. I want Avatar LP with the DLC. Alright, well, let me upgrade my, my... Actually, hold on. Ash brings up a good point, so let me look it up. PS5, M2, SSD. Come on, no, I'm opening a new tab. Uh, okay, Brave, what do we have? Let's see. What's the best one? One terabyte. How many, how big do they get? Best SSD overall is $250. Oh my god. What's the one that has the, the biggest? What's the biggest PS5 M2 SSD max capacity? Let's see. Uh, up to four terabytes. All right, so how, how expensive does the four terabyte get? Not to be a whale, but um, I would actually really consider doing that just so I could install a bunch of fucking games on it. Much like this PS4, as I even said a while ago, I intentionally put a... I put a whole... I put a four terabyte SSD in this one, which is insane. And I installed a bunch of games, and I still have, like, an extra, what, like, 500 gig... Even more than that, right? Yeah, I still have, like, an extra 600 gigabytes. I damn near installed my whole fucking library. And obviously, I could clean up my capture gallery, which I should. And I'll get back another 20 gigabytes. Yeah, so anyway. When we're yeah, we're gonna do, but we're gonna do Minerva's Den. We're doing, uh, we're gonna play Bioshock Infinite as well, by the way. I'm gonna replay that. So, so congratulations. For those of you who may have just found the channel, or for those of you who have been around since 2013, or even earlier... I will be replaying some of the games I played back then, <clears throat> because now they have remasters. Now, obviously, I'm trying not to play the same... Again, this is what happens when I don't play Final or Metroid Fusion every fucking day, right? Oh, you know, hey, Ash, how many times have you seen me play Metroid Fusion? Oh, you know, spray like seven times. Right, we're not doing it. Only time I'm going to play Metroid Fusion this year, potentially, don't hold me to it, is my birthday stream, because it's the birthday stream. where That overrides it. I'm trying to think of what games I want to play on the birthday stream, and I'm thinking like Spyro, um, maybe Spyro 2, Spyro 3 maybe, Metroid Fusion, maybe Metroid Prime, right? All those games, that, Sunshine is a good one, right? So yeah, I'm thinking about all the ones I will play for the birthday stream. But other than that, like, do I need to play Fusion every fucking week? No. If I need to, I'll play it on my own time. Which I did actually boot up Heart Gold, and I was—I I didn't play much because it was super late last night when I got to it. But yeah. So, any news about Metroid Prime Four, Metroid Prime Two Remastered? No. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Oh my god. Let's see. Uh, what does IGN say? Sony details the requirements for a PS5 storage expansion. Because you don't actually replace the hard drive. You just add in something into the expansion bay. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. So I might buy that soon. Let's see. Just... Fucking bare minimum. Yeah, the other problem is that the S the SSD in the Series X is... Okay, yeah, here we go. It has to be between 250 gigabytes and 4 terabytes. Oh, good fucking God. Okay, well, I'm going to get completely bent over trying to pay for this one. <laughs> That's a lean... Well, I'm surprised you can actually tell. You can hear the chair squeak. They let the chair sing for a minute. Yeah, you know, nothing major. All right, let's actually progress with the game now. Oh, I'm done dicking around. 
Because I'm the one that's suffering, okay? I want I want Metroid Prime 2 Remastered to come out. But they said they might not put as much effort into 2 and 3. Which, I look, fuck 3. I love 3. It's not a bad game. It's just not really a game I particularly like a ton of. Okay, anyway. Alright, there's, there's not really much to do in Kolingen. A strange glowing creature flew right through here, scared the living daylights out of me. It took off southward towards Jidur. Here we go. We meet again. Leave me alone. <laughs> I think you can, um, you can recruit him if your party is not full. But there's no real reason to recruit Shadow at this point. I don't think there's really much of a reason to recruit him. My younger boy's a bit eccentric, lives up, uh, lives alone up north, says he's going to build a coliseum or some such nonsense. That thing, I don't know what it was, but it tore up my house. It looked like some kind of glowing monster. Locke, is that you? Have you stopped by Rachel's house? It's my dream to see an opera at the Opera House south of Jador. With a handsome date, of course. I get all dolled up, put on a sequin dress. A girl named Rachel used to live in that house up there. No one lives there anymore, though. Alright. I couldn't protect her. Locke, where are we off today? Uh, where are we off to find today? It's almost your. There's supposed to be an amazing treasure hidden somewhere in this mountain. We're gonna find it. Locke, look out! Oh! Rachel! No! Rachel, are you awake? Oh, oh? I... I can't remember anything. Rachel's father. Get out of my house! It's your fault Rachel lost her memory. Wait, just let me talk to her. Please, just go away. I don't know who you are, but my parents get upset whenever you come here. Rachel will be better off without you hanging around, Locke. She's gonna have to make a new start of it. With you here, she can't even do that. Thanks, eye patch man. A year went by. When I finally returned, I found out Rachel had been killed in an Imperial attack. Her memory had returned just before she died. The last thing she said was, my name. I never should have left her side. I... I failed her. That's it. There's an elixir in the clock. Alright. And yeah, Metroid Prime 3 was good, but dang if there weren't some odd decisions. Yeah, it's like here's here's a what is it called? Prime mode. Here's the um the hyperdrive mode, hyper mode. And then you could just go in and out of it. Like you're not locked into it if you just tap into it really briefly and then leave. That's it. Yeah. Let's stay away from the house of the eastern edge. Some crazy old coot sits in there mashing up herbs all day for his shady concoctions. I hear he's even got a ghost in his basement. Yeah. I don't know. Again, it's also heavily linear, but to be fair, all the Metroid games are linear, so it's unfortunate. It's not bad. It just it's it's meant to be very actiony. Hey look. Oh Locke, it's been a while, ages even. Oh that? Worry not, worry not. Your treasure's quite safe. <laughs> it's a good thing I happened to perfect my herbal concoction right when she the the girl hasn't aged today and never will. <laughs> I had to use my herbs, I did. I couldn't very well refuse with you begging me like that. Yeah, here's the second part of it that he didn't talk about. Rachel. You're sure the stuff will work? Of course, of course. The love of your life will sleep here just like this, forever. And ever. And ever. <laughs> if only there were a way to call her spirit back. A way to call her back? You mean like that legendary treasure? Oh yes, I suppose if you had that, you might be able to reawaken her. <laughs> I 
failed her. Lock. I think if Sellas is in your party, you get that as well. I don't, I don't know if you get that without Sellas. Later in the game, it could over lock you into... Yeah, but like if you tap into it real fast and then just tap out, it, it never happens. And that's actually something I showed off in the playthrough. I was like, what a very interesting mechanic that has no punishment whatsoever. Like, you could just say, fuck it, I'm, I'm going to tap into it and then hop out. And then that's it. Don't stay in it any longer than a couple of seconds. And what is the game going to do to you? Now, again, I never played on the higher difficulties. That's just because I didn't really like the game. So maybe on the higher difficulties, you won't be able to just hop in, hop out. But if you're just doing a casual playthrough, you just do whatever, yeah. Yeah, and you can't save any of them. Unlike Metroid Prime Hunters, where you save all the shit bags for no reason. This is Jador, the westernmost town on the world map. Wow. If, you're, if your town is some really stupid reason to be notable like that, your town sucks. I'm sorry to say that. Maybe that's the New Yorker in me coming out a little bit, but, uh... I don't know, life sucks, what do you want me to say? Also, the white dress is actually missable, for anyone wondering. Once you leave this portion of the game, you no longer can get the white dress at all. Okay, there you go. Prime 2 is my favorite. I like the aesthetic of Prime 2. I don't like the upgrade trees of Prime 2. They give you the beam combos and then they don't really do anything. They're only notable for a couple of fights, and that's it. Every once in a while, one of those shake kids from Zozo wanders down here looking for an easy mark. <clears throat> Let's buy some Echo Screams. I wonder if screen is a mistranslation. I have no idea. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. <clears throat> yeah, they're amped up super missiles, but they use ammo, and I don't like the ammo system, personally. I don't know. I always played it differently and weirdly. Um, later on, we'll, we'll come back to the auction house. We don't really need to do much. The classify is starkly apparent here. All the middle class families live in the southern part of town. The richer folks live up in the north. You can see one of their enormous mansions from here. You mean the only mansion? Here's Owser's man uh, mansion. You're the spitting image of Maria, huh? Haven't heard of her, you say? She's a famous opera singer. There you go. A beautiful still life of flowers. It's almost as if they were alive. It appears to be a lamp. A suit of armor, it would seem. A picture of a lovely lady. Yeah, this is going to come back later. Oh, yeah. Hey, look. This one looks awfully familiar. <laughs> this is actually one of my favorite dungeons in the whole game, believe it or not. When we come back later. Yeah, it, it's, the problem is that Light Beam is too good and Dark Beam isn't good enough. So, like, they make it so... What is it? Throwing Berserker Confusion. Cast Shell. Uh, protect. Earring. Sniper Eye. Ensures Physical Attacks. Never miss. Uh, fine. Fuck it. Goodbye. Yeah, Light Beam is just too strong. It's good on Light World and it's good on Dark... It's especially good on Dark World. The, the balancing of that game is not very great. But then, so because they have to ensure that you will never end up in a position where you won't be able to fight back against certain enemies, they... Is it the throw command? We don't even have Shadow. You can have him at this point, but whatever. I, I never have him at this point. But basically because you have to get, you have to bring all four of these characters to get unique scenes, and there's no unique scenes with Shadow at this point. Alright, we're good. Well, yeah, why freeze enemies when you could just burn them to death slowly? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, the Dark Burst only works on, like, the Chika fight and a couple other fights. It doesn't... It just deals really shit damage otherwise. That, that's the problem. It's just the balancing is weird, but at least it has different beams. I just think Metroid Prime 1 did the whole multiple beam thing a lot better, personally. Alright, this is actually one of my favorite portions of the game. I'm gonna say that a lot. This town in Zozo... Zozo never heard of it. Every single person in this town is lying to you, with the exception of one character, I believe. There you go. He's dead. <laughs> Great people here. You can trust everything they say. Yeah. 
So everyone in here is lying to you, basically. A girl, nope, haven't seen any girls lately, and there's definitely not one on the top floor of this building, so don't bother checking. Light, yeah, the light suit is fucking amazing. That is such a great design, I agree with you. The aesthetic of Prime 2 is so good, easily. Easily the best aesthetic in a Metroid game. Maybe Dread is a little close. The PED doesn't look too terrible in some of its earlier forms in Metroid Prime 3, but you know, it's, it's okay. Damn, she's just dead. Nice. This place is dangerous. Be careful. And don't go doing anything stupid like trying to jump between the buildings. Potion. Da -da, da -da, da -da. What is this theme? Here you go. The clock's hand is pointing at the two. Let's see if we can talk to him. Come here. That clock doesn't have a, man a minute hand. Of course, it never points to the right time anyway. So there's a puzzle in this city, basically. What you have to do is you have to figure out a certain time to enter into a clock. Because of, I think they fucked it up. You can't, there's two possible times you end up having as potential times. Clock's hands have stopped. I forget what it is. Is it 6.40.10? No. I forget what it is. look around a little bit the second hand on my watch is pointing at 30 which means we know it's not 30 seconds very nice it might be 840 ether <laughs> Door is rusted shut. Okay, I can't do anything. Yeah, basically you're in the slums. They take you to Detroit. I love the boss designs. Absolutely. They have phases in that. See, I I don't know. I, I love that game. It really is a really fucking good game. But, like, I just don't like the ammo system. That's the problem. Oh, we already, we're here. Okay. All right. Uh, do we go in here? Yeah, no one in here. Okay, let, let's go up that other building. I don't think it's missable or anything. Oh, wait, we need to fight enemies here. Whoops, I totally forgot. Gobbledly goop. Gobbledy gook. And harvesters. Oh, wait, we actually need to go heal. Maybe we should... Let's step out of town real quick. Well, let's heal for free. Whoops. <laughs> but yeah, everyone in this town is lying to you. Everyone. So that's part of the puzzle, is you need to figure out who's telling the truth. Or you need... No, I'm sorry. You need to figure out the truth between all the lies people are telling you. And in order to do that, you get one of the better weapons that Edgar can get. Okay. There you go. Oh no! I fucking didn't talk to him. Damn. Like that classic riddle? What riddle? I'm actually curious. What riddle? Time you say, it's four. Don't listen to the others. It's eight. Oh my god. Here you go. It's ten. I better be getting home. It's already twelve. It's two. Great people here. You can trust everything they say. Yeah. You have an entire line of dudes all saying a different time. Oh yeah. How long do we have to keep this up? <laughs> Ow. That fucking hurts. See, I just like two better than three because like three ends up being this very linear and like like I had someone refer to three as a halo game at one point and I kind of agree with them honestly it opens like one that's for sure dude what is with everything being a back attack Whew. 
very nice. Alright, let's heal. We're gonna heal with potions. What the fuck is this? Ride down- oh, it's a fast way out. Okay, I, I didn't even know that that was there. Two brothers guarding the doors. One of them leads to where you need to go. The other leads... Oh, yeah, that one. The one of them only says lies. The other says the truth, right? You're supposed to, like, ask the... You know, if I were to ask you to tell me where to go, what would the other brother say, right? And that's how you get out of it. You need to figure out which one... Wasn't that in a video game at some point that I played? The Brigand's Glove? I feel like that was in a video game or something that I played. Hyper Risk. Who's the worst? Strength. Uh... We shouldn't be getting petrified this early. Or I could give it to Sabi- Oh, he already has it. Yeah, okay. That kind of makes a little bit more sense. Okay. What was the Brigand's Glove? Changes steel to mug. Obviously, that's for lock. Both of the brothers are lying because the being real. They both say the exact same thing. Oh my god. Dude, I can't, man. You're, you're giving me anxiety just thinking about it. There you go. Whoop. Just another day in uh, O-Block, I guess. I don't know. Chirac. Nisha. You know, like, how... I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm hit or miss with riddles. I had, I had to get good at those riddles in Spyro 3, if you remember those. It's like, here's a riddle. The more of me I take, uh, the more of me that you take, the more you leave behind. What am I? Oh, it was footsteps. I It took me so long to figure that out when I was like five. I was like, oh, that's so cool. You know, you know, kid me was feeling himself that day. <laughs> My second hand's pointing at the four. Is this who I think it is? The seconds, they're divisible by 20. Dude, look at this dude. Look at the frame rate on this guy jumping. Why does it look so weird? It looks so weird to watch him do it. Like, it's it's a gif that's playing over the fucking screen. What's nowhere and everywhere except where something is? I, I'm bad at that. I'm sorry. Is this like a play on the words? Nowhere and everywhere except where something is. That's that's a fucking good one. Where? I don't know. Sorry, I put all my specs into math. Not to not to this. Oh my god! These things are ridiculous. Nothing? What? What's nowhere, everywhere, except where something... Bro, why are you not running this stream? Why are you not running this stream now? That's crazy. I can't believe that. That's a good one. Holy shit. Holy shit, that's a good one. That sounds like something Kefka would say. I can't believe this. Oh, I should have him use Mug. Oops. Mistake. Huge... Huge spray and pray error here. Oh, he's dead. Very nice. What's up, Ash? What brings sorrow but suffers joy? Oh, jeez. I, I don't know. What brings sorrow? Death? I don't know. I'm not big-brained enough for this. Dude, my entire chat is going to put me on blast for being bad at riddles, dude. Okay, actually, here's the fun part. This is actually one of my favorite enemies in the game. What brings you up here on this fine day? Do you need to get through here? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be in the way. I'm not very strong in a fight, and I'd hate for there to be any trouble, so why don't I just let you pass? Fights you. <laughs> Data Luma. So it's funny, he actually shows up in, um, in Final Fantasy XIV, as part of the Guardian fight, it's one of the programs that Guardian can run to summon him. And he actually says that line. He specifically says, I hate fighting, so I should let you pass. I I love that shit, man. 
Sigma Scape was truly like one of the best pieces of content in that game. I love it. It's so, so true to the original work. It's not even funny. Fate? Fate suffers joy? What? Oh, he's dead, by the way. Why would fate suffer joy? I, I don't know. Was it from Gotham? Who knows? I, I don't know. It could be from anything. I have no idea. I hate fighting, so I better let you pass. I hate for there to be trouble. Alright, so now that we've done all of this, right? You're gonna hate me for this, but we're actually gonna leave Zozo. We're gonna go all the way back to Narsh. Um, actually... Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. And, and people are gonna hate me for this, okay? And you're totally welcome to hate me for this. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna quick save. We're gonna go all the way back to Narsh, okay? Bear with me now. I, listen, I was... Fate suffers because it sees the joy it brings, and joy it does not. Not everyone appreciates its... I'm not good with this. I'm sorry. I'm a more upfront, straightforward kind of guy, you know? Wait, hold on. How, how does he get into that? Can you go over here? Oh my god, what the hell? It doesn't even do anything. Why the hell would you want to do this? That's so interesting. You're going to hate me for this. This is going to be the most insane thing I've ever done in a video game. All right. There you go. Whoop. Where is the clock again? I forget. Where is it? Where was the clock? Is it in here? Yeah, so the correct time is going to be 6, 10, and 50 seconds. I'm pretty sure they messed it up, and it's ambiguous if it's 6, 10, 10. But I'm not sure. Anyway, you get the chainsaw for Edgar, which is one of his better weapons. The reason why I don't like the chainsaw is because there's a 25% chance that it will cast instant death. And obviously on a boss, it will miss, because bosses are immune to instant death. So there's a 25% chance that when you select it, he puts on the Jason Voorhees mask. And he, he tries to, like, insta-kill the enemy. Yeah, it's a long story. Two bodies have I, though together we are as one. The more I stand still, the faster I run. Oh, fuck, dude. Two bodies? What has two bodies? Together we are one. I, I don't know. The, 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 unfortunately, the answer is just going to be I don't know for most of these. I, I don't. Only ones I know are from Spyro 3. I never liked Riddles. Two bodies have I. What has two bodies? The Earth and the Moon? I don't know. Celestial bodies, maybe? No, that's too obvious. An hourglass? Oh, get the fuck out of here, dude. I'm so pissed. How would you ever guess an hourglass? This is bullshit. God damn. <sighs> anyway. There are 73 cows in a field. 48. How many didn't? What? Did you type it all out correctly? Seventy-three cows in a field, forty-eight. How many didn't? That that doesn't even seem like English. Man, I'm being tormented, dude. Dude, Viff would love this. Viff would be like, "Ha! I've been waiting my whole life for this. Sell dust and have a riddle." <laughs> there are two sisters. The first gave birth to the second, and the second gave birth to the first. Uh, forget it. You might as well just wait two minutes and then just tell me the answer because I'm not gonna catch it. All right, where where are these dudes again? Up here. I think. I'm, I'm not going to get it. It's impossible. And it's going to be lame. Just like the fucking hourglass one. That one pisses me off more than anything. Alright. 
I've never done this before. So let's actually do this. I'm just going to take Gao as a party member, as the only party member. Oops, how do you do this? There you go. So the way it works... Oh my god, look at them all in here. When she flew off, she almost looked like an Esper. I told Terra I'd keep her safe. We must save Terra. Hurry and find Terra. I'll keep an eye on things here in Narsh. We're counting on you to find Terra, Gao. You're our only hope, Gao. Oh my god. <laughs> That's why no one ever sees this. I didn't even know this existed. I, I think I read a post and I was like, there's no way this is real. Oh, it's real. You better believe. And you have to go all the way from Narsh to Zozo while constantly doing battles. Now, this is the perfect version of this game to see it. Because now we don't have to do any combat. We just have to walk there with the with encounters set to off. Go to Cole again. 33... What? There are 73 cows in a field. Four, 48. How many did... Fuck you. I'm so angry. I'm so fucking angry right now. I'm so angry. 48. I'm, I hate... I hate riddles. I can't even walk straight right now. Sun and the moon? How did the sun and the moon give birth to each other? Isn't that, like, celestially not true? This feels more like a metaphorical riddle. This... I cannot believe that. 48. It, like, that that's just, like, prime-level trolling right there. <laughs> I'm not mad at you, Devin. I'm just saying that the, the fact that we're doing plays on words... I thought you just didn't type it out right. I, I, I was like, maybe, like, he hit enter and, and he messed it up. That one, that one is, that's ridiculous. And here's the best part. A week from now, you could do the same thing and I won't remember it. All right, where do I go again? There we go. Without the sun, the moon would not shine. Right. But the sun would still shine. So we don't need the moon to have the sun shine, though. So they're not, the moon is, the moon is dependent on the sun. The sun is not dependent on the moon. To keep this, you must first give it to another. Trust. Faith. Respect. I don't know. A secret. It's a secret, right? To keep a secret, you have to give it to another so someone else would know it. The earth would not exist without the moon. I, I'm pretty sure we would, wouldn't we? Just the tides would be all fucked up. The, or the tides are required for, or the moon is required for tide, for high tide, low tide. But I'm pretty sure we would still exist, right? We don't need the moon. It's your work. Forget it. Anyway. All right. Let's see this here. Hermes sandals. X potion. Ugh. Terra. Terra? She's frightened. Who are you? This girl is your friend, I presume? Terra! She okay? So her name is Terra. Terra. Interesting. Her life is in no danger. She simply used a power she didn't know she had, and it overwhelmed her. Now her body won't listen to what she's telling it to do. As for myself, I am Ramu, the Esper Ramu. You're an Esper. I like how it, you can see, like, he still has generic dialogue for the party, right? So this is what this game will do. Certain characters will pipe up depending on what's going on, if they're in the party and they have specific ties to the events. Otherwise, because the game doesn't know who will be in the party and how many people will be in the party, they will have generic dialogue like this, basically. Espers live Otherworld, right? That doesn't mean there's anything stopping us from living in this one. Espers come in a variety of forms. My appearance is similar to your own, so I could live here as one of you, without fear of anyone discovering the truth. 
But why not tell people you Esper? Humans and Espers are incompatible creatures. Gauhir fairy tale. People, Espers, before, live same place. No, that, or that was no fairy tale. That was the truth. Humans and Espers used to live together in harmony, at least until the War of the Magi. The War of the Magi. It took place long ago. Espers fought humans who had been infused with magical powers extracted from other espers. Yeah, Gao is at the lowest priority, so he will never speak if anyone else is in the party. That's why this is good. After that meaningless war had ended, the espers fashioned a new realm to which they exiled themselves. They feared that if they remained, it would only be a matter of time before their powers were targeted again. But then one day, about 20 years ago, humans stumbled upon the entrance to that hidden realm. Humans who knew of espers and the secrets of our powers... And thus began the hunt, for Gestal, the leader of the men, knew that he could use the powers extracted from us to create an invincible army. As soon as we realized what was happening, we erected a massive gate and forced the humans out. Those who were captured are still held in the Empire's Magitech research facility, being drained of their powers. I narrowly escaped that same fate, and now I am here with you. There you go. Put her back in bed. Throws her in the bed. <laughs> she seems to have calmed down a little. I called Tara here to me when I sensed she'd lost control. She responded to that call. So Tara's an Esper? No, she's a bit different from us. She looks like she's in pain. She's afraid of what she is, and that is a painful thing. What can we do to help her? Once she understands her true nature, the fear and doubt should subside. Is there nothing we can do? The others of my kind who are trapped in Gestal's Magitech Research Facility may be able to help her. Magitech Research Facility? Your friends there? I escaped alone, abandoning my friends and hiding here like a coward, I, but I fear I can remain here no longer. What do you mean? Gestal's methods are mistaken. He knows only how uh, he knows only to drain an Esper's powers by force, but that's not the way to unlock our potential. Only when we become Magicite can our strength be transferred in full. What are you saying? I'm going to turn myself into Magicite so I can lend you my strength. Magicite? Magicite is an Esper's power in its purest form. When an Esper dies, Magicite is all that's left behind. But... Ooh. These are my companions who fell as we fled the Empire, and I will give you my power as well. In other words, he basically self-deleted. Ra, Mu, you leave, not come back? He turned himself to Magicite. Why would you do such a thing? If our power is used for destruction, the skies will darken and life will fade from the earth. You must stop the Empire. There must not be a second War of the Magi. The Ramu Magicite. Kate Sith, Siren, and Kirin. Terra, wait for us. We'll be back for you. Here we go. Everyone's here. I was just that. Yeah, now Gao speaks normally. Do you play as a caveman? Well, yes and no. But Gao just happens to be like a very feral kid that was raised among monsters. So that's actually one of the interesting things is that he doesn't speak normal English. It's kind of broken. Yeah. So the Empire has been draining magic from espers. There's also no way Gao would recant this back to everyone properly. <laughs> Surprised he didn't try to eat the crystal? Yeah. <laughs> Celez, was all that true? What are you talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about, Saban. 
I was asleep when they performed my infusion, so I don't know for sure, but I've heard rumors to that effect. I suppose we must find a way to slip into the Empire. We'd best split up again. We still need to beef up our defenses in Narsh. That would indeed be wise. I'll go to the Empire. I know it inside and out, but alone... Don't worry, I'll go with her. Lock. Might I advise going in greater numbers? So you are forced to take Locke and Celez, which is fine. Honestly, we're just going to keep using Edgar and Sabin. This party is too goaded. You're basically going to use them twice over. So we'll send these two back to Narsh. No biggie. Wait for us back in Narsh. Don't worry, we'll be fine. If we need to change party members, I guess we'll have to head back to Narsh. Which we are totally not doing. So how are we going to get there? The Empire is on the southern continent, but they've closed all the harbors and no ships are permitted to leave port. The town of Jador to the south is full of wealthy aristocrats. One of them might know a way in. Where there's a gill... Locke? Yeah? Why are you coming with me? Hmm, well there's a rumor about a legendary treasure hidden in Imperial territory and all. I thought I might have a look around. He winks. Okay. Alright. Seems you have some magicite. Want to learn more about espers? To use an Esper, you must first equip it by selecting Espers from the Abilities menu. To summon the Esper in battles, select the name of the Esper by scrolling to the top of the Magic Command list. You can only call upon each Esper once per battle. When an Esper is equipped to someone, that character will learn spells over time. The set of spells each Esper teaches is different. The higher a spell's acquisition rate, the faster it will be memorized. Some Espers also permanently increase an attribute like Strength, Magic, HP, or MP when the character who has them equipped gains a level. So another, I mean, it's pretty explanatory. I don't really need to over-explain it, right? So every Esper teaches certain magic, as you can see. So for example, Ramu teaches Thunder at a rate of times 10, Thundara at a rate of times 2, and Poison at a rate of times 5. And every time you level up, he gives you plus 1 to stamina. Kirin, who Celes has a good amount of magic learned from, teaches Cura at a rate of times 1 and Regen at a rate of times 3, as well as some other spells that she's learned naturally. So, certain... Whoops, Siren. Sleep, Silence, and Fire at a time six. This is okay. So yeah, let's give her Siren. Let's give him Kate Sith. Ramu. And then obviously Kieran will be left for him, since he has a decent MP pool. So now, as you can see, everyone has had their MP pools unlocked. Which is really nice. So yeah, it's a lot of, it's a lot to dump on someone right off the bat. But basically, if we complete a fight right now, which I'm going to try to do really quickly. What time is it, by the way? Okay, we're we're a little bit low on time, so maybe we'll just do this for a bit. But basically, da, 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 as you can see, everyone now has the magic command unlocked, which is nice. Basically, now everyone has magic unlocked. Everyone gets it pretty much at the same time. I actually thought you got it later than this. I forgot that you get it. So, every time you complete a battle, you gain what's called AP. AP allows you to learn spells. If we go over here now, you will see that we've gained huge progress towards all these different abilities. Now, partially, that's because I've turned on... um, What's it called? I use the boost menu. We're, we're kind of using the cheat engine to learn spells faster. Totally fine. There's nothing wrong with this. I don't really give a shit. Alright. The more I eat, the larger I grow, but if I should ever drink, I will die. Uh, I don't know. Thirst? If I should ever drink a desert? I have no idea. Poor people have it. Rich people need it. If you eat it, you die. What is it? Ah. Uh... I've heard this one before, which makes it really bad that I don't remember it. I actually, I don't remember. <laughs> Alright, so people are learning all their spells, which is nice. They even tell you what they level up with. Uh, so are we done? No, we still have to learn fire at a time six rate. So yeah, basically a good chunk of your end game is going to be learning different spells like that. 
and so that's what a lot of this game is is like at the end of the game technically every party member could be good because you could give them the spells they need you can make them a healer you can make them a caster and that's what i like about this game is that every party member feels pretty equal right like e like everyone has a unique ability obviously some are better than others right but for the most part a lot of the best strategies in this game come down to having good magic oh my god this is gonna be stupidly fast all right so see she's mastered siren no one else has mastered kate sith which is fine or any of their other ones so let's go ahead we'll finish this up God bless Rising Phoenix. It's still good. It's still so good. <laughs> it might count as a melee attack, though. I'm not too sure. Alright. So yeah, this is what a lot of my time spent on this game was. It's fighting enemies for AP. Now, some enemies give a lot more AP than others. Uh, which is totally fine. As you can see, we get magic AP of 8. So the way this works is... um because I set it up in the boost menu like so, I get four times magic AP. So normally you would get two. So that times that, that two that we do get gets multiplied by four, which becomes eight, which gets multiplied by the acquisition rate for these spells. And that's why we're learning some spells so quickly. Because as you can see... Yeah, even Cure will take a while. But Cure is good. Some of these are intentionally designed to be very hard to get. So some of the best spells in the game have an acquisition rate of 1, which means that you have to spend a lot of time grinding to get them to be good. Very nice. It's actually one of the reasons you want to train a lot on the Veld, because the more you level up, the more your stats uh, get impacted by whatever you have equipped. So some of the best um, Magicite in the game requires you to have certain characters and you need to level them up with it as much as possible so there's build diversity for different characters it's not like super vital you can mostly just ignore it right um if you really insist for me personally i all, i don't really care too much for it but sometimes it's nice to give like a lot of hp to characters or you know a bigger mp pool for some of them but like characters like sabin and edgar are better at melee right oh shit mithril knight that might actually be good or was it? Oh, no, it's trash. Never mind. Uh, so he's done with Kate Sith, so we'll give him Siren. He's done with Ramu, so we'll give him Kate Sith. And then she can learn from Ramu. See? And we just play Hot Potato, basically. And that's... that's It's kind of like the Materia system in, in 7. And this is what I don't like about 7, is like... You use these Materia, and you don't get to keep the spells. Like, you have to have the Materia equipped to use the spells. Whereas here, as you can see, once you master it, and obviously we're speeding it up, right? We're, we're doing it pretty early in the game. We're getting some early levels and stuff. But once you've completed it, you've learned the spell. Like, it's now, I guess, imprinted on you forever. Like, you're able to use it even without the Materia or the Magicite equipped. I just thought the Magicite system was infinitely better than the Materia system. But, I mean, look, this is like preaching to the choir about Seven and Ocarina and GoldenEye 007, man. It's... It's impossible. I already know I'm wasting my time. I, I just never liked the Materia system. I just, it never vibed with me. Very nice. Anyway, all the streams for the next two weeks have already been outlined. Um, I'm sorry for potentially spamming someone with that. Uh, I just wanted to set it all up so that way I know when I'm streaming every day. So tomorrow is Thursday. What are we playing on? What are we playing tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow is Bioshock. Yes. Since Devin's here, we're, we're playing Bioshock again tomorrow. It's okay if you can't make it, don't worry. I'm just letting you know that we are going to play it again tomorrow. I, I am actually very interested in playing a lot of Bioshock. And then Friday will be uh, Dragon Quest. And then Saturday will be more Bioshock. And if we could beat it by then, that's actually really good. So we're, we're doing Bioshock three times this week because I'm absolutely insane. Damn, bro, you already finished Siren? Holy shit should be good yeah no worries regardless the stream will be up if you want to see it uh i have to unprivate the rcs stream I'm, i'll get back to that probably tomorrow and yeah that's that's the goal the goal is to have a constant stream of content so yeah yeah no i read it i, I don't know what it is i give up ash i i i, I quit 
And Devin, I don't I don't know what yours is. What is it? Poor people have it, rich people need it. It's like the opposite of money. What's the opposite of money? Time? I don't know. Rich people technically should have all the time in the world, so I have no idea. The answer's fire? Oh my god. I quit. Poor people have it, rich people need it, and if you die, if you... Oh, it's nothing. Oh my god. Wait, you, you got the answer correct? <sighs> Dude, I'm, I'm smoked, bro. It's over for me. Nothing is the I hate that. What's the answer? Nothing. You know how mad I would be on an actual test if the answer was nothing? Like, not zero. Like, literally nothing. I would be so fucking mad, dude. It wouldn't be funny. Oh, shit, I wasn't looking. Did we master anything? Oh, they tell you right here. Oh, yeah, it's on the right side. Yeah, okay, cool. You just you don't have to go in the menu every time. But yeah, 2025, we're going to be playing stuff like Kingdom Hearts and... We'll be playing a lot of Bethesda games and stuff like that. I just have to figure out this year. Unfortunately, the month of July is basically going to be Dawn Trail Central. I'll be honest with you. Dawn Trail is going to basically be streamed almost a month straight. For several hours every day straight as well, so. I know you'd be mad because that was the same answer as one of my other riddles. Well, he knew it. Nothing, uh, nothing is a terrible answer, I'll say that much. Alright, don't worry y'all, we're just gonna play for like another 10 minutes and then we'll be done. Because the next portion of the game is like a huge, famous segment of this game. It's one of my favorite, again, so just stamp again the, the spray and pray seal of approval on it. But it's one of my favorite portions of the game. God, they finished everything, holy shit. Oh, Vespers, uh, Ramu, you take Siren, and you take Kate Sith. So I'd, obviously I don't want to start it with only like a like 20 minutes left because it's basically going to lead into the next big segment of the game. And I mean, we did do a good amount of stuff today. I mean, we even got to see Gao's lines, which I've never seen before. It's it's weird though, because they have them speak normally as if there's other people with them. It's obviously like a programming oversight uh, because Gao will never speak if anyone else is in the party. So I think that like Locke and Sabin and Edgar are at the top. And then uh, Celez and Cyan are at the bottom. And then Gao is unfortunately at the bottom. So if anyone else is in the party with him, he will not speak in that cutscene. It's not like one of those ones where everyone pipes up like in, in turn, which is, you know, would be nicer. It's cool though, because it gives replayability, right? Like once you know that this is a thing, it's cool because you know, you could replay the game or whatever. But honestly, like, do you really want to replay multiple hours of something just to do that? I don't know. For me personally, probably not. You know what I mean? So yeah. Like if it, like ironically, I wish more games had like the near automata chapter select. You know, I feel like near automata is ahead of the fucking game for having a chapter select that detailed, where you could literally rewind to like actual story events. That shit blew my mind. I was like, what the fuck? That was crazy. And that was a 2017 game. I see why people rave about that shit now. I'm, I'm just sad it took me so many years to play it. That shit was fire. Oh, goddamn. But anyway, I would like to thank you all for coming out to a Final Fantasy VI stream. It does mean a lot. Like I said, this game is near and dear to my heart. And needless to say, we have now had, what, 30 streams of this? 30 streams of the whole collection, right? It was like three. It was like four, three, four. It was like stream 20 something i don't know how many streams we've done for this but yeah i do appreciate it thank you all it really does mean the world to me i love this game truly who wait which one gives what ability stamina yeah siren's good because it gives hp plus 10 percent and magic plus one so we actually want to keep kate sith on uh celez once we're done so yeah, let, let's try to learn Kira, which is obviously going to be more helpful. Having everyone have access to magic is obviously good right off the bat. Yeah, no worries, Ash. I'll see you later. Having everyone have access to magic is obviously really important. Because you never know who's going to need to heal, who's going to need to cast Poisona, who's going to need to cast Asuna, things like that. So that's, that's pretty much what you do at the end of the game. You don't have to, like, super over-level for the end of the game because you have a lot of characters. 
but it is good to um have everyone have like a general list of things that they can do in a fight. I do appreciate it. It's nice. And I'm going to make sure that Celez gets as much MP or in magic as possible. It's kind of like how in Tactics Advance, um, the more you level a character on their class, that's what determines their growth. So that's why late game characters, like you'll get Illusionists late game and they'll have ridiculous MP pools. Because Illusionists come with... Oh, I love that game. Ugh. I kind of want to make a video outlining like every single thing that they should do for Tactics Advance, like in a remastered version, right? Like if I were to make a list, and maybe I would need Alex to kind of give me pointers in case I miss any, right? It needs to be that you can replay every mission, right? Whether there's like a currency you could use or maybe Gil you could pay, right? So that way nothing's missable, right? There should be a mission replay, even for dispatch missions i think you should be able to play it i feel like key items you shouldn't have like a limit to how many key items you can hold that would be another important one because there's a limit to the number of key items and if you discard a key item that you need for a future dispatch mission you fuck up your save so i think that key items should not be missable oh i should write this down i should make like a big video about it i should do like a video essay for it for tactics advance Final Fantasy Tactics Advance is a 2002 role -playing, uh, tactics role-playing game for the Game Boy Advance. And to me, the most important game of my childhood. And totally lie about that, but who the fuck cares? No one knows who I am. <laughs> but it is important, for what it's worth. It is important to me. I should just say one of the most important. Oh, damn, I'm writing the script right now. Shit. I'm a genius, dude. But I have no footage of the game, because I haven't played it recently. I'd have to take my playthrough footage, which isn't like the worst thing in the world. But yeah, that's what I would do. The number one thing I'd want them to do is make sure there's no missables and there's mission replay. So you could just dick around, play new missions and stuff. And honestly, expanding it would be cool, but if they wanted to make a straight reboot, I just think they should focus on no missables. That's all. All right, cool. All right. Uh, are we done with all our stuff? Let's see. Yes. So she's not done with Kirin. But they've all finished pretty much everything else. So Siren gives HP plus 10%. We could give it to him. Because he hasn't learned from it. She hasn't learned from Kate Sith. 72%. Yeah, he's only yeah, he's left for Kirin. Yeah, we basically have to pass Kieran around. That's kind of it. I forget what stamina does. I think stamina is defense. I'm not too sure, though. Anyway, we're about to be done, so it doesn't really matter. Edgar? Oh my god. Edgar, please move before I'm... Please, I don't want to sit through Rising Phoenix. Thank you. Very nice. HP plus 10%. I'm telling you. Shit is ridiculous, man. We have a couple of ones that give HP plus 10, MP plus 10. And there's obviously ones that have more stats to gain and more of everything. Um, maybe after this I'll play 14. Because I kind of shouldn't wait till Saturday to do my weeklies. Uh, other than that... Yeah, very nice. Alright, let's save. One of my favorite segments in the game, man. I love that shit. The, the Zozo segment. It's such a... Oh, wait. How close is she, actually? 76. We're gaining four per battle. All right. So next time, I just have to remember to do a little few battles real quick. All right. Very nice. Let's save. All right. I want to thank you all for joining me today. Thanks, Ash. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, uh, Devin. As always, much appreciated. Uh, oh, hi, Mark was also here. Really do appreciate it. Um, we will continue playing this next week. We'll probably do a good chunk of what's left in the first half of the game. And then uh, we will be on to the second half of the game, which will be pretty cool. So, um, tomorrow is Bioshock. Friday is Dragon Quest again. Saturday is more Bioshock. Sunday will probably be the return of Rogue Galaxy. I will see how I feel, where I am. 
I'm, I'm giving it, you know, a fair shake, a fair amount of time, which means I need to remove this disc. Oh, this disc drive sucks. It sucks. It sucks. I did get all the tools I need. I just haven't had the time to do it. Uh, one more riddle. The less you have, the more one is worth. The less you have of it, the more one is worth. No, it's not secrets. It's not knowledge. The less you have of it. It's not time. What what would be better the less you have of something? I'm trying to think. Not time, not health, obviously. Friends? Oh, no, that's not totally true. Some people have a ton of friends and they're all meaningful. But I, I get the gist of it, right? I understand, like, the more, the less friends you have, the more they're meaningful, the more they have value. I, I get it. I'm not, I'm not, like, totally torn up over that. But that, Jesus, this chair is ridiculous, by the way. I, I have to actually fix it up. All right. Anyway, thank you all. That's also from Batman. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, is the writing for Batman, like, a bunch of riddles and shit? It's actually kind of funny. Ugh. Okay, let me get out Bioshock. Anyway. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful Thursday. We're almost a Friday, if you can believe it. Somehow, against all odds, we're almost a Friday. And, uh, yeah, I will have a very wonderful day, actually. Y'all take care. Have a good one. And, uh, it's when the Riddler... Oh! Dude, the Riddler is one of my favorite villains. I don't really like him in The Batman or whatever that latest one was. Oh, I put in the Bioshock Infinite disc. Oh, I might as well install it, I guess. Anyway, I put in the wrong tips, but it doesn't really matter. All right, have a good one, y'all. Have a good one, Devin. Peace. Pox Tacoon.